Hello everyone. Today we have Geeta Charan with us. He is one of our course enrolled student, and uh, today he is with us to go and share his journey uh, throughout the gate preparation. So hi Geeta, welcome. Uh, hi ma'am. It's great to have you here with us. So please uh, introduce yourself. So I am Geeta Charan. I am currently a final year student in uh, JNT Anantapur, and uh, I am a computer science engineer student. Okay, so this is the first time you are appearing for the gate exam, or you set for the twenty twenty one as well? Uh, yeah, in my third year, uh, that is the uh, gate twenty twenty one paper. Uh, I appeared it, and uh, I had I actually had a very good rank in this. Uh, I got four ninety nine rank. Oh. So that is uh, that is the reason why I had a lot of confidence going into gate twenty twenty two paper that I can do a lot better than that. And you proved it, proved yourself right actually. <laughs> So, uh, for the first time, you have prepared by yourself. Uh, the first one was uh, uh, self preparation, okay. but uh, there was uh, it was mostly I could not complete the syllabus. There were a lot of patches in my uh, knowledge and stuff like that. So, I needed some guidance from a course. Okay. And okay. Th this is where applied was uh, very helpful for me. Okay, so what was your strategy for this year? Like, uh, how you have planned your complete uh, preparation? So, so after the twenty twenty one paper, uh, I still had uh, many concepts. Still had many concepts to cover. CO and DLD to cover them. So I had to cover all those things. Uh, given a schedule for them uh, scheduling is very important so once i had covered them so i went straight into the uh, by when you have completed the uh, course so i think uh, it was a like ending of september 2022 i completed the entire syllabus and then it was only test series and revision after that so you have covered uh, practice questions and pyqs in the parallel with yeah. the course completion Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I was st studying, uh, studying a new subject, uh, I used to cover them at that time itself. So PYQ, PYQs were always uh, with the along with the subject. So okay. I don't have to go back and do them. So uh -huh. generally, PY PYQs will give a good idea how questions will be asked in the gate. So I would recommend anyone who are starting the preparation to start with PYQs if possible. Yeah, correct. Actually, it gives a clear, pretty clear idea regarding like how the questions will be there in the gate exam. Actually, yeah. So, like, how you have uh, strategized or how, what is the learning strategy with the gate applied uh, course? Like, uh, how to watch the videos? How many hours do you invest in uh, watching the videos? And how you have uh, managed uh, solving PYQs and practice questions in parallel? So. Uh... it was sort of a combination because so i would start watching the videos so whenever if i am if i am tired of watching those videos i will go on, go ahead and go back actually go back actually to the videos and start writing notes because i don't uh, i didn't have uh, i didn't like writing notes when i was was watching the videos so i would do a second iteration to write the notes and uh, whenever i was bored of writing the notes i would go back to videos or i would go and solve previous year questions Remember, you have started your test series, and uh, how you have planned that? Like, uh, how you have planned your revision and test series in parallel? So, from from September, it was actually revision. So, whenever I, I used to revise a subject, I would go ahead and uh, solve test series along with them. For example, if I am having a week for a subject, I would spend first three three days to revise them, and the next four days to uh, do some pre. Uh, previous year questions which were tough or i could not do in do them or that i felt difficult and then i would go ahead with the test series okay so this is the strategy which you have followed for solving questions and uh, uh, finding your conceptual gap as well right yeah yes ma'am like mentorship helped you out throughout your preparation i never actually uh, fully utilized the mentorship program but uh, there were some instances when if i write a uh, query it will be solved very fastly but i think i never utilized that uh, mentorship to the fullest there might be some point of time 
where you feel like uh, you have to pull yourself at your low point so how did you manage that so so whenever i get this low point it's probably because i'm scoring less in test series hmm. one should not all one should forget about the series but you will feel low when you are stuck at test series for a very long time if you are giving five grand test and you are always stuck at 65 marks hmm. then you would feel like uh, there is something wrong so those are the things that you do to haunt me so i used to take breaks then uh, uh restrategize see what was what i was doing wrong and uh, go ahead with new plan it can be completely different or a slightly different plan so since you have prepared for gate uh, in parallel with your uh, fourth year so do you find it difficult to manage uh, academics placements and everything along with the gate preparation yeah i was fortunate enough uh, i got 20 i i gave 2021 because due to the pandemic i got lot of time during that paper 2021 paper uh-huh. so i think i completed uh, 75% of my syllabus then and as i only had 25% uh, syllabus left for 2022 it was it was good i could manage my semester exams classes and all the stuff without problem any suggestion you would like to give to our future aspirants who are like in the kind of similar situation as of yours so any suggestions for them um, do's or don'ts yeah. anything so if you are in third year and you want to write uh, if you want to attempt get then start immediately uh, you can either follow the plan to go from uh, easiest sub- subject to uh, toughest or try to coincide your subjects uh, with your sem- sem- semester subjects so it will be easy and you can manage both semester and uh, get and once you in your, in your once you are in your fourth year you can co- cover the remaining subjects from september to like january uh, do you have any fixed number of iteration for revision or you have revised as many times as possible so i had a, a lengthy three phase revisions so it it, the first revision was like one week for a subject and then five five days for a subject and then three days i had a lot of time because i completed the syllabus way early and after that also i had like a lot of time left so i used to revise every day till the gate exam so get a long enough time for the revision part as well right uh, yeah. it was very long i think <laughs> one could have completed the entire gate syllabus in that revision <laughs> you have any suggestions for us no ma'am i think you are doing very good the gate gate applied course is very good okay you may ask any questions you have um... no i'm good ma'am. okay uh, thank you so much geeta and uh, we wish you best of luck for your future and uh, thank, thank you so much for giving your time